Hello, primary five. Let's continue unit two, lesson two. Okay. What is the name of lesson? Is the constant and the variable. Okay. If I said the price of one bin is two LE. The price of one bin is two LE. Then the price of three bins equals what? Equals three times two equals six. Okay, the price of four bins equals what? Four times two equals eight, LE. And the price of eight bins equals what? Eight times two equals 16, LE. Okay, here I make multiplication between the price of one bin and the total number of bins. Okay. In this example, the price of one bin is constant. What is the meaning of constant? Constant means uh, doesn't change, okay? Like here, I said here, the price of one bin is 2 LE. It, it doesn't change. Where? The prices of the bins vary. What is the meaning of vary? Different, okay? According what? according to the variation in its number, okay? Again, the prices of the pins vary or different according to variation in its number, okay? As I change the number of the pins, its cost is a change. So, it is the meaning of constant and variable. Constant means it doesn't change and variable means it be changed Easy. Okay, so if I represent the price of one bin is x, okay, so x represents the number of bins and it is variable, can be changed, and y represents the price of the bins and it's also variable, then y depend on x right right so y equals 2 times x y equals 2 times x 2 is the price of one bin x is the number of pins okay so y equals 2 times x and y here is the price of Pins of all bins. Okay, we can write it as y equals 2x. Okay. Okay. Here, if we record the values of x and the corresponding values of y in the following table. So here, if x equals 3, x equals 3. So y equals what? Equals 2 times 3, which is Six. Okay. If x equals four, so y equals two times four equals eight. Here. Again. And if x equals eight, x x equals eight. I will substitute it here. So y equals two times eight equals sixteen. Okay. Okay, let's solve exercise 2, lesson 2, page 33. Choose the right answer. Number A, the side length of an equilateral triangle is L, and its parameter is B. So, the mathematical relation between B and L is what? Okay, if I draw an equilateral triangle, its side length is L. So its parameter will be what? The parameter is the sum of all side lenses. Okay, you must know the rule. Again, the parameter equals the sum of all side lenses. The triangle has three side lenses. So its parameter will be L plus L plus L. Okay, right? Or the perimeter will be 3 times side length. 
because it has three side lengths. Okay, I know that the side length is L. It is given. Okay, he gives you the side length is L here. Okay, so the perimeter of the equilateral triangle will be what? The perimeter will be three times L. So the answer will be three times L or three L. It is will be the answer. Okay, number B. The side length of a rhombus is X. The side length of rhombus is X. It is given, okay? And its parameter is B. So, the mathematical relation between B and X is what? You know that rhombus has four equal sides, okay? Again, you know that rhombus has four equal sides. So, when I want to get its parameter, it's equal what? The parameter of a rhombus will equal four times side length. Okay? The parameter of rhombus here, I write the low, equals four times side length. He gives you side length equal x. Okay? So the parameter of the rhombus will be four times x. Four times x or four x. So the answer will be the first one, 4x. Okay. If the sum of two numbers, x and y, is 20, the sum, I said before, the sum means plus. Okay. If I have two numbers, x and y, and their sum or addition is 20, then y equals what? First, you must write the equation, which is like here. y plus x equal 20. Okay, right? He said it before. So, you know that the sum of any two numbers, the sum of any two numbers, like x and y, the result will be the total, okay? So, this 20 is the total, okay? So, 20 is the total, okay? So, y and x are the terms of the equation. y and x are the terms of equation. And 20 is the total number. So, if I want to get the value of y, which be, hmm, yes or right, will be 20 minus x. Because 20 is the larger number in the equation. Okay? So, it will be y equals 20 minus x. Okay, the answer will be the second one, 20 minus x. Okay, number D. x and y are two numbers. Here, he gives you two numbers, which are x and y. The greater number is three more than the other. Again, the greater number is three more than the other. Be careful. I said before, more than, which is equal, plus. I said before again, more than means plus, okay? And is means equal. Again, is means equal. And three more than, yani, three plus, okay? So, the greater number is equals three plus the other, right? If the smaller number is y, then x will be what? Hmm. The smaller number is y. And the greater number is 3 more than the smaller. 3 more than the smaller. So, x, which is the bigger number, equals what? y plus 3. Okay? 3 more than other, which is mean 3 plus plus the other. Okay, so, so the answer will be y plus 3. Okay, number 3. Write down the mathematical relation between x and y. If the number x, if the number x is, is means equals 9 
more than the double of y. Translate each word. If the number x is, so I will write x equal, equal what? 9 more than, which is mean, plus, plus what? The double of y. I said before, double or twice. The two words have the same meaning. Double or twice, which is mean two times y. Double of y means two times y. So, x is, means x equal. Nine more than means nine plus. Double of y means two times y. So, the mathematical relation will be x equals 2 plus 2 y. Number four, concentrate. Methat bought x kilogram of chocolate, okay, and put it in a box that cost 5 LE. The cost of box is 5 LE, okay, and he bought x kilogram of chocolate. Whatever x. Calculate what met had be in terms of x if the price of one kilogram of chocolate is 28 LE. Concentrate, please. Here, he gives you three terms or three um, terms, yeah. The first, the cost of box, which is 5 LE, okay? Second, x, which is, which is the which represent kilogram of chocolate, okay? Third, the one kilogram of chocolate cost 28 LA, okay? First, let the total cost that Methad pay is Y, okay? Now, he will pay Y LA. Y is the total cost, okay? Y contains what? Or we can divide it, the total cost into Two parts. First, the cost of chocolate. Second, the cost of the box. Okay. Okay. Let X represent a number of kilograms of chocolate. It's given. Okay. It's given. In the first line, Matt had bought X kilograms of chocolate. Okay. So X represents a number of kilograms of chocolate. Okay. 28 LE is the cost of one kilogram. It's given also here. Price of one kilogram of chocolate is 28. Okay? And the 5 LE is a cost of box. It's also given here. Box is cost 5 LE. Okay? So, the total cost will be what? The total cost, which is Y, equals the number of kilograms of chocolate times the price of one kilogram of chocolate. Right? Plus the cost of the box. Hmm. Are you understand it? Again, the total cost of Methad Bay will be the number of kilograms of chocolate times the price of one kilogram of chocolate plus the total the cost of the price uh, of the box. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So y equals a number of kilograms of chocolate is x. And the price of full one kilogram is 28. Plus, the cost of box is 5 LE. So, the total cost Methat will pay will be 28 times X plus 5. I hope all of you understand and goodbye.